Hello my friends, my name is Dragonheart the Prince of Wales and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the next episode of Let's Talk Pop Vinyls. In this episode we're going to be discussing a fantastic saga and one which I do advise caution, do not follow my advice or do not copy my example here because this is very interesting within pop vinyls and it's a very easy mistake that you can make. So as you know, as I mentioned in last week's video, I've been collecting pop vinyls for two years now. You can see maybe I'm on display behind me and it's still a work in process. Uh, on the right hand side right here I've got a lot of Star Wars ones that I'm working on. And Star Wars is one of the biggest franchises in the world. It's also one of my favourite franchises. And that's the pop vinyl collection that I'm actually uh, collecting at the moment. So um, I'm going to start off with the first pop vinyl which will be in the thumbnail. I don't want to do clickbait. So here it is, Qui-Gon Jinn. I bought this a couple of weeks ago. It took a while to arrive. I'm super, super pleased that it did arrive. Now, Qui-Gon Jinn, if you buy the standard original version of Qui-Gon Jinn, which is now vaulted, I believe, and you can't really you can get him, but he's not, like, brand, brand new, um, it can be anywhere from, like, £400 upwards in price in a boxed, mint condition uh, version of Qui-Gon. He's super rare and super expensive. But this is the new re-release, which uh, was released last year. As you can see, he looks really cool in there. I'm going to take him out of the box because this version of Qui-Gon isn't that rare for a start. And also, I want him to be proudly displayed with my other pop finals behind me. So, I'm just going to open this one up quickly. Believe me, the video will go downhill after this as well. And you'll see why in a moment. I'm just going to open him up and just display him. I take him out of the box for there. Go. There's our lovely Qui Gon. What I like about the re release of Qui Gon is the base. It's got like the old Republic style base by here, which looks absolutely amazing. And I'm a big fan of Qui-Gon in the films. I like the fact that they're doing some stuff with him in the Expanded Universe and in the lore and everything as well. Uh, and I love Liam Neeson as an actor. So I'm super pleased with this purchase. And this will definitely be in my top five of my figures at the moment that I currently have in my collection easily. Maybe even top three. So Qui-Gon Jinn, welcome to my collection. It is fantastic to have you. Now things take a dark turn after this. So I bought Qui-Gon. Super thrilled with it. I marked him uh, as in my collection on Pop in the Box. Now, Pop in the Box is a website, a UK website, where you can do mystery boxes. And you log in with the details and stuff. You thumb up with a green thumb the ones that you want, the ones that you like and would, wouldn't mind having in your collection. And you thumbs down with a red thumb the ones you don't wish to have in your collection. And then ones that you do have already in your collection, you put a little trophy icon by them to say they're in your collection. So a few weeks back, I think it was around about the 16th of January, I decided to um, redo a subscription to Pop in the Box to have two monthly Star Wars Pops sent to me. So every month two Pops would be sent to me through Pop in the Box. Now, I've used Pop in the Box for I used them about 18 months ago. I took out some Game of Thrones ones. So behind me you'll see the Zombie Mountain, uh, I've got a couple of brand figures. i got Theon Greyjoy, and I've got the Night's King with the, the crystallized Night King with the dagger in his uh, heart. Um, they all came through Pop in the Box mystery boxes, which is fantastic. And then my Star Wars collection, I got some more that have come through. Uh, Lando Calrissian, I had uh, Princess Leia in the Ewok Village outfit, and I also had Han Solo Battle of Endor. So I had all of them through Pop in the Box. I'm really pleased with all of them. Never really been disappointed at all. Super, super thrilled. So I decided to uh, redo my, my subscription. I took it out for two monthly, or two Star Wars pops every month, Pop in the Box. And I made sure to update my my credentials of what ones I like, dislike, what ones I wouldn't mind having, etc. And it's quite an extensive list. It's like a good 40-odd pages to go through of just Star Wars stuff on there. So um, as you can imagine, it's quite a big collection. There's at least 100 on there, I think, that I don't have or wouldn't mind having in my collection. So this was on like the 16th of January. The following day, I was in bed in the evening. I was just scrolling through my phone, just looking on like eBay and stuff, and I come across a pop figure that I thought I could get a good deal on. And it turns out I did. I, I offered, it was ending soon. And you can, with some people, you can also do offers on eBay. I did an, an offer on there. And I um I got this pop vinyl by here, which was absolutely uh, amazing. Bo-Katan Crease, and I had a good price. I think the seller wanted like like £12 plus postage. And I got it down to like, I think it's like £8.50 plus postage. So I got a few pound off there. Basically saved myself the postage. And I got a decent pop vinyl as well so this arrived and i was super pleased by having this 
as you can see, I've taken out the box yet. Um, I intend to take out the box, but you need to hear the rest of the story to see where things go wrong. Um, but just to say, Bo-Katan, one of my favorite characters in Star Wars. She's in um, Clone Wars and Rebels. She's in The Mandalorian. I just love what they're doing with her character. And every time they introduce or reintroduce her, um, just getting that expansion of things going on with her is, is fantastic to explore. And, and that journey is, is great to be on as well with that character. Um, and uh, Katie Sackhoff voices her. But she also plays it in the live action as well. So it's it's basically Katie Sackhoff's character. I love to see uh, Katie Sackhoff. She was fantastic in Battlestar Galactica. So is a big fan of her as well. So yeah, pleased to have uh, Bo-Katan Kreeves in my collection. But I ordered this the day after the Pop in the Box subscription was reactivated. I then went into Pop in the Box the day after. I then marked Bo-Katan as in my collection. Now, this was the day after. They already dispatched my Pop for this point. <laughs> So um, a week went by, and I'm waiting and waiting, and nothing's arrived. Um, so I'm trying to work out what's going on. So I went on to uh, I went on to the live chat to support, and I said, "Oh, hey, I just want to let you know I ordered this on the sixteenth. It's now like the twenty third, twenty fourth. Uh, I haven't had anything. What's going on?" So if somebody gets back to me from part of the box, and they say there's a delay with their production in the warehouse. Um, there's been a delay overseas. We hope to have something soon. Then somebody else comes back to me a couple of hours later, a different person, and says, um, it's being dispatched um, from the warehouse. Check these two links to, tra to track your two pops. One was um, an overseas link. I think it had gone to Germany. The other one was a Royal Mail link. So I go to the Royal Mail link, and it basically says, it's being dispatched. It's out for delivery. Um, I think it said on there something like, it's been delivered. Um, basically, long story short, a lot of the time I get my post delivered to my parents' house, which isn't far from where we live. Uh, just because I'm in work, I might not be home and stuff, they're always home, they're retired, so sometimes I just do that, and then I, I go over there and get my parcel done. Uh, so they already had a parcel delivered there. And then um, the one from Germany, it turned out it was actually arrived in the UK on the day that I had messaged, and a couple of days later, that arrived. So two pop vinyls arrived. I'm going to start with the German one first. So the one that came from Germany was the shadow or oh, oh, well not the shadow the dark trooper from the mandalorian which um they're amazing to they're amazing figures from star wars law and stuff and, and and troopers rather and they were so menacing in the mandalorian show so i'm fantastic to have them i'm really pleased that i got this one uh, in my collection so i'm gonna unbox that and put that on display as well and then the one that came from royal mail the one that came from the uk which um it had a few days delay on it and then arrived eventually was this one Pokatan, which if you notice by here, I've got two of them. <laughs> I got two Bokatans. Um, as fate would have it, uh, as fate would have it, things kind of went wrong. And uh, even though there's at least a hundred on there that I've thumbed up that would be great to have, me being the numpty that I am, it's totally my fault by the way. This isn't isn't me trying to shift blame or anything. It's my fault. Um, I hadn't updated it before I took the subscription out. I did it a day after. And it just so happened that Fate would give me the same pop uh, that I already had in my collection that I bought the day the day after. So, yeah, I, I, I bought the Bo-Katan Kreeves figure, and then that happened, and I had another one a week later, which is hilarious. Uh, so, yeah, my bad. It's totally my bad. I'm definitely not going to do that mistake again. Or am I? So, um, a few weeks have passed. And I was thinking about getting some more pop vinyls. I'm always on the lookout. I got one that's due to arrive at some point, which should be um, pretty cool to show you guys. But um, I decided to check out this new website. Well, I say new website, new website to me anyway. So it's been on, around for a while. Uh, it's called Zynga Entertainment. So we're on their website, and it's a big Star Wars selection. It's got some Mandalorian pops. It's got some Boba Fett pops. Uh, it's got some Empire Strikes Back pops and a few other ones as well. So I was like, yep, this looks great. Let's have a look. And I found on their website that they also do mystery boxes. Now, the difference is it's not like pop in the box. We can mark up and down what ones you want or need or have, etc. It's just random. You just take a chance. You get a, a mystery box, and then they get sent to you. I decided I'll, I'll give it a go. I'll bite because they're cheaper as well. It, it works out a lot cheaper than pop in the box. Um, pop in the box, it's like, um, I think it's like nine ninety nine a pop. This is something like five seventy five a pop. I think it was so i took out two pops from zynga entertainment mystery total mystery couldn't say which ones i wanted or didn't want etc and the box arrived two pops arrived from zynga entertainment and as you can see <laughs> i've got ahsoka tano 
which if you look behind me, uh, just for there, it's the same Ahsoka Tano that I've already got from The Mandalorian. And I've got Bo-Katan. So I've now got Bo-Katan to there. I've got Bo-Katan to here. And I've got Bo-Katan back here. I have three Bo-Katans now. <laughs> What's going on? It's crazy. So that's a super bad luck. Uh, the first one was my... Well, they're all my mistakes, in, just in different ways. It's just... The problem with mystery boxes is you can't always control what you're getting. Um, the good thing is with pop vinyls, these are all boxed. I'm obviously going to keep one of the Bo-Katans. I'm going to sell two of them. Um, I should be able to get value back on them. Um, sell them for what I bought them for. Do a little bit of postage and stuff. And I will sell them. Um, and the Ahsoka Tano is the same as well. So I've basically got two Bo-Katans to sell and an Ahsoka Tano to sell on eBay. I don't want to have duplicates, really, if I'm, if I'm being totally honest with you. Um, the only time I, I ever want duplicates, it would have been cool if one of these Bo-Katan figures, um, if one of them actually had the the chase version where she doesn't have the mask on like i would have kept that that would have been different to the my my, my the standard bo katan but all three came back as, as common standards of the figure which is super annoying so um that's kind of my dilemma at the moment um we'll see how things go going forward but yeah i'm, I'm to go to, to go back to some positivity it was really cool to have the dark trooper i'm looking forward to putting him in the collection it's really cool having qui-gon uh, like i said big fan of him i love the base i would love it if if they re-release some of the other Jedi from this era, so like Mace Windu, Plo Koon, Yoda, um, etc., and having the same base, that Old Republic style base looks really cool. And yeah, learn from my mistakes, folks. Anyway, guys, have a drowned heart. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.